Hello Cecil County in the world and welcome to 30 at 6. I'm Rob Churnside and I have the extreme privilege tonight of having with us on camera our director of Cecil TV, Doug Donnelly, fount of all wisdom and the man who knows everything. Doug, I would have announced the date but I'm confused. What is, what is today? Today, I believe, is June 24th. Okay. But, so tomorrow will be the 25th. Right. When people watch this, it will be... That'll be the first June twenty fifth and beyond. And beyond, always beyond. They're familiar with the show in Canada. I was in Canada, you know. I I know that. Um, so how was Canada? It was like another country up there. I was in Quebec. They speak French. <laughs> That's why they call it Canada. Yeah, right. right. See, I told you, he knows everything. They speak French up there, and. Uh, Did you get to use your French? I brought a French one textbook and I asked some I things. I thought you spoke French. I spoke French what? when I was in high school. <laughs> I rode my horse to school every day and spoke French and uh, you know, got my knuckles beat with the ruler and I forgot most of it. But When I went, went to uh, Nicaragua, I thought I knew more Spanish than I did. But I, it, it was, I was useless. <laughs> yeah, luckily up there, they would say, you want it in French or English? And most of them, you know, the waiters and the people helping you spoke English as well. Hmm. So that was good, but it was, a, it was a really cool experience. Quebec was worth seeing. I did a little bit of uh, research on the worm situation up there, and most people use the plastic worms up there. I like that. And it, there may be some genetic engineering going on. I wonder if there's, it's a uh, climate a, uh, whatever, you know. They what may we, not have as many earthworms, but I, I, it's a whole other story, but I, I know that climate change is causing some kind of worm to start eating their forests up there. It's a big oh, yeah. It's, yeah, there's a lot of uh, forests that were like brown pine trees everywhere. Mm -hmm. But there was a lot of pine trees. Hmm. So you drove, and on your way back, you took a picture. I did. And I saw that you, you sent it, you attached it to an email. I saw it. I knew immediately where that was it because was in, uh, I've yeah. been, I've driven to Cooperstown many times, and that is the Susquehanna River. Yes. When it, that's when it just starts to get large. Yeah, it started as a little creek, maybe 50 miles. North of right. That. You can actually go. You can go in Cooperstown. You can go. You can go to a place where it runs under a sidewalk, and it's like a foot wide. And then it becomes, as we all know, the mighty Susquehanna, feeding three quarters mm -hmm. of the water into the Chesapeake Bay. Amazing. And I know we talked about can you raft down the Susquehanna, and people have done it. I think it's something to do. Is it something that the uh, you would think Cecil TV should do and film. No, it's just... Like Tom Sawyer and Huck Finn. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it would be an interesting... Uh, perhaps the people who want to... Uh, well, everybody wants to save the bay. And a big cause of the pollution in the bay comes from the, you know, the Susquehanna uh, basin yeah. that goes through... PA and New York. Uh, of course, <laughs> if you pull up in town and start telling them to stop polluting this, the uh, the, uh, sus the the Chesapeake Bay, they may run you out of town. So I don't know. Yeah. Puncture your raft or whatever. <laughs> so, so what did I miss when I was going? <clears throat> I was well, um, there were a couple of interesting events this weekend. There was a uh, neither of which. Cecil TV was able to make it to, but um, but the, actually the wig covered them, and Jane Bellmeyer did a couple of nice stories on two things. One was the Habit of Grace Pride Festival, which was the first one of, the, of that. Um, and then there was a vintage baseball uh, competition, you know, multi-team thing at Dove Valley that I was hoping to get to, but didn't. So, 
Vintage baseball is in is in the paper up there in upstate New York too. Mm -hmm. Big, it's big everywhere. Yep. So you have a uh, an open mic coming up. As you know, people out there in TV land, Cecil TV, we have an open mic uh, tomorrow, which is the twenty fifth, which is when the show will air at Wesley's second and fourth Tuesday right. of every month. The longest running open mic in Cecil County. And folks, if you want to see the cleanest, coolest drums in the world, check out Doug's drum set there. It's awesome. And you can play them, maybe. Right? Uh, oh, maybe, yes. If you pass the, pass muster. I'd like to play Wipeout. That's going Not to on the desk, though. cause the meters to go into the red. <laughs> Not on the desk, just like in school. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, I'll be doing... Uh, uh, an open mic at Wellwood Beach Jam Acoustic tomorrow or Wednesday. Mm -hmm. um, and then with the. That's uh, tomorrow? Wednesday? When, Wednesday. And then how, the, how often does that occur? Every every second and fourth oh, Wednesday. Oh, the old second right and fourth Wednesday. thing. Yeah. Well, you know, like Bernard Bugsy Purdy said, you're going to make your money on the two and the four. Okay. And then this Sunday at Celebrations on Market in Wilmington with the full band, <clears throat> original Chess Beat Fire Brothers. Mm -hmm. So I took a week off and uh, reacquainted myself with the five-stroke roll on the dashboard of, of the car. My wife just loved that. I'll bet. I I can't imagine anyone standing for that for more than uh, that's once. The, that's the least of my <laughs> that's the least of my flaws that she puts up with. Well, the magic's going to happen tonight because we have Del Lord and his yes. friend, and we also have. Yeah, we have Delord and his friend, and uh, Wendell Pell, uh, very a, uh, interesting fellow. And um, the uh, we also have a segment on Attorney Gen Maryland Attorney General Brian Frosch's uh, presentation last Wednesday about fraud, which was very interesting. All the time, people are. You know, they get their, if, it's, if they're not uh, actually stolen from, they're, they're at least completely annoyed by these phone calls you constantly get on your cell phone. And he also talks about uh, <clears throat> things like protecting your credit and, um, and talks a little bit about um, what? It was a third thing he talked about, um, which I can't remember. Anyway, and we also have uh, a segment that was supposed to be last week, but didn't make it into the show about the lanternfly, which is uh, the spotted lanternfly, which is a potential threat to uh, farmers and trees and so forth. Good, and that they're actually pretty. I've seen pictures of them. They're deceptively pretty. They look like something you wouldn't want to squash, but the instructions are kill them. Kill them. Great. Yes. No, no mercy. Like squashing bug. No mercy for the spotted lantern fly. And there you have it. There you have it. Shall we get to the news? Uh, let's get to the news. What's the... <laughs> Do we have news? We don't really have any news. But oh. we'll get on with the show. So. On with the show. The man himself has yes. said it. <laughs>